Brian, that's a question a lot of people are asking. I was speaking to some employees here at this shopping center who tell me since this encampment arrived in this parking lot, they've had a lot of issues, including shop lifting and drug use. You see what's going on behind me. This has seemingly been the only response to the problem, moving these encampments somewhere else in the city where they'll stay until they're moved again. After about two months, crews are cleaning up this encampment in downtown Burien. We're here for the people, and we're here to um, connect them to services. Chris Wee is the co-founder of The More We Love. The organization says they were hired by the owner of this shopping center to move the encampment. But this problem has been going on for much longer. You know where you're going to be if they come do a sweep tonight. Where would you, where would you go? Back in May, I spoke to Wee as he helped with the removal of an encampment located just a few blocks from the current one. In fact, since the spring, members of the encampment have moved in a circle around town, setting up for a few weeks or even months until they're pushed out. Nobody wants to be living in this hill, but the fact of the matter is it's a drug addiction, and that is that drags you down into the depths of despair. Officials with The More We Love say they provide services to the people who want them, but can only help those who are willing to accept their offer. So, what more can be done? King County officials tell me they will provide the city of Burien with $1 million and other resources to help with the problem. All the city has to do is find an appropriate site for the shelter. King County says they made the million-dollar offer months ago, but the money still sits unused. On Monday night, Burien City Council discussed the current homeless issue, but a city official tells me they still don't have any answers. I just heard from officials with the city of Burien a few moments ago. They tell me the plan is for the city manager to locate possible sites that then will get reported to city council. They tell me that the King County offer does not have any time on, on when they can use it. Reporting live in Burien, I'm A.J. Janneville for Fox 13 News.